Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath and it's Tips and Tricks Thursday. I'm gonna show you how to tie a no-slip loop knot, which is a loop that will not slip. Before we get into this session, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications, give this video a like, leave a comment and let me know how I'm doing. All right, so let's get uh, into this. What you're gonna to need to tie a no-slip loop knot is some mono. I've got 30 pound mono here, but that we'll use as our leader. I'm gonna tie it twice. Once I'm gonna do it with just the loop, and the second time I'm gonna do it, putting it on a hook. Uh, you can also tie this directly onto a lure if you want to. It's a very strong knot that uh, will not come undone. So, first thing we do is you take your leader and you need to tie an overhand knot. So you make a loop, you take your tag end and you stick it back through the loop. So we end up with an overhand knot, which is essentially a loop. Now I'm gonna take my tag end and I'm gonna stick it back through my overhand knot. So I end up with something that looks like this. This is my loop and my tag is run through my overhand knot. Now I'm going to take my tag end and I'm going to go around my main line five times. Twist it around. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna stick it back through my overhand knot, which is right here. Grab onto it and now it will work just like tight, tightening down a clinch knot. Now you can pull on your loop and you can see the knot starting to form. Now you pull on your little loop and now you have it. A no slip loop. No matter which way I pull that loop, it's not going to slip. All right. Now we go. You trim up your tag end. done that knot's not going over super strong okay now I'm going to show you how to tie it on to a hook so same process as before repeat overhand knot make a loop put your tag in through it so you have an overhand knot doesn't have to be giant. Now we're gonna take the hook and we're gonna put it, we're gonna thread through the eye of the hook our tag end. So we've got this. Now, you're going to take your tag end and you're gonna put it through your overhand knot, same way. So now we've got the hook on the loop no overhand knot. Now again, we're going to twist our tag around our main line five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Now again, we're going to take our tag and we're going to slip it through the overhand knot and we're going to start pulling down tight on it as if it were a clinch knot. And now you just pull against your hook in both directions and that will tighten that knot down. And now you have your hook or your lure, whichever you want, on the no-slip knot. Come over, trim off your tag, you're good to go. That's not going nowhere. All right, used in all applications, it gives lots of pliability to your hook to swing around and be free when you go to set it on a fish. You're good to go. Again, 
No slip loop knot. 